Hey everyone and welcome back to Haste Kitchen. Now, whenever you think about the burger roll, you always think about the brioche bun. The lovely sort of buttery top, really airy sort of centre. Now, usually with the brioche, it takes a long time to make, usually about six or seven hours. We haven't got time for that. And as always with Haste Kitchen, we try and simplify things and make it super easy to make. So we'll be using spelt flour, very few ingredients, and we're going to make these in about 25 minutes. Yeah, we are. So, first up, we've got ourselves our mixer with a dough hook on. Into that, I'm going to add simple ingredients. I've got one cup of warm milk, so that's about six tablespoons of warm milk. I'm using full fat. Into that, I'm going in with 14 grams of active yeast, four tablespoons of honey, and then four really large tablespoons of soft butter. So just let that come up to room temperature. And two eggs. With me so far? Complex stuff, huh? Drop your lid down. Give that a quick mix. Then into that, you're gonna go in with 450 grams of spelt flour. Now, if you look at the type of flour I'm using here, it's the light and nutty variation rather than the whole grain, all right? It's really key that you find this one. It's extra ground and it means it's really, really soft and fluffy rather than really quite grainy. So once you've found that, use that flour. So 450 grams. If you don't wanna use spelt, strong white bread flour will work perfectly with this. So back on with the lid. So it's important for this, you're going to actually need this for a good 10 to 15 minutes. It's a long, long time and it'll be quite a wet mix. So it's quite important that you use a dough hook on your mixer and use that for about 10 to 12 minutes. Right. That's what you're looking for. So it's kind of sheeny. It's got a gloss to it. It's going to be a bit sticky. Look, don't be scared by that at all. Because that, once it's puffed up, we're going to knock some of that air out of it and that's going to be perfect. Now while that's doing its thing, we're going to make up a couple of rings. Now you might have some of these in your cupboard anyway. If so, use them. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a quick easy one. Just going to get a bit of foil, fold it, fold it again, and one more time. Rub it down nice and flat. You take it, you're going to fold it over, and you're just going to fold the two ends back on themselves and then back on themselves so they secure it back together again. And then you've got your ring. Now to shape that, you're just gonna take yourself whatever size you want the rolls to start off with and push that into the center, push that to the top, spin it round and you've got your perfect ring. Into a separate bowl, we've just got some egg. We're just gonna whisk that up and then whatever seeds you want on the top. I've got some sesame seeds and I've got some small poppy seeds. That's your mix. And this is gonna where you're gonna need just a tiny bit of flour on your hands. So flour down on your board, out with your mix. That even now going in the oven, we just go. And once you're happy, you've got the right sort of consistency. That is what you're looking for. I'm gonna cut this until we've got about six or seven good sized balls. Now, this is the easy bit. Just gonna take your ball and you're gonna work it around into a small circle and then you bring it underneath itself, keep tucking it under, and that is good to go. Now, you can leave these to puff up again, and they will go even bigger. As far as I'm concerned, that is plenty big enough. It's gonna fit just inside that ring, and we can put these straight in the oven, and that's been 25 minutes. And all the time you're tucking that under, you're tightening up that top area of the roll. Right, you can grab yourself a tray, and fill it up with water, and put it in the bottom of your oven. Grab yourself a baking sheet, a little bit of grease proof paper on the bottom and a tiny amount of oil. Smooth that around. You put your rings in and just slightly turning them around with the oil on the hands. You're just going to drop them just inside the rings. Then we're just going to go on with a little bit of just a whole egg, just beating that up, 
and just lightly cover the tops. Try not to get on any on the ring, otherwise it will stick to it, it will stop them rising. And then up to you what seeds you want to use. I'm going to use a small amount of sesame seeds on a few and a few of our poppy seeds on the others. So they're going to go into the oven for around 15 to 20 minutes, around 180 to 200 Celsius. Check on them after about 15 minutes. And if you want to turn them around again, if they're getting too brown at the back, just flip the tray around. Didn't take long, did it? We've got the most freshest, most beautiful smelling burger buns in the world. Right, I'm going to take the rings off. Here's the test. That's what you're looking for. It's these beautiful, stringy, buttery bits. It's the lightest thing you will ever make. That is unbelievable. I'm so gonna have burgers tonight. See, there we go. That is my variation of a spelt brioche roll. Now, if you wanna see what goes really well in this, something like a buttermilk chicken with a spiralized, tangy, spicy slaw, click here. It's that good. Go and watch that one, make the chicken and put it inside the brioche. It goes perfectly. Um, if you do recreate this one, hashtag me at Hayes Kitchen as always. Nice to see you soon. Cheers then. Bye bye.